be another haul video, but this one is going to be a high-end makeup haul of some of my favourite makeup. Like, literally, I've mentioned this brand to you all the time because I think it is so underrated for what it is. It is Guerlain, which is an incredible luxury brand. I absolutely love it. I mean, I never see it too much anywhere, especially on YouTube, and I am not happy with that. It needs to be on here more because they do absolutely amazing stuff. So I decided to place a fairly big order of literally everything I literally wanted, <laughs> like everything, and I thought I would show you guys. Obviously, this is a bunch of makeup. You don't need to get all of this, but there's just like their face products are insane like their foundations I have tried I've been to my counter and just tried all of like all of them and I can't decide I love them so much so I ordered a whole bunch in different colors and stuff for summer and just across the year and these will last me a long time and then some of their meteorites products which I've actually ran out of ones so that's a repurchase and like a skincare item which was brand new that I literally could not pass up this is what came in the post and I was a happy happy lady very happy. Okay, so they've had some super cool new launches recently as well, which I have just picked up. The first thing, actually, I don't know what I did with the box. I was too excited when I got it because I thought it was so adorable. So they've just come out with the new La Petite Robe Noir, um, which was a perfume, which I actually have. In fact, I haven't even taken it out of the box. I can see it right now. It's because I found it yesterday that was like, I was like, oh, where did that come from? Um, but it's the little tiny of the um, Eau de Parfum, which smells amazing. But they've come out with a colour line, so they've got lipsticks and nail polishes now for the collection. And I got this one. Look at the packaging of this, guys. It is so, so cute. Actually, if you don't know what the product, if you don't know what the perfume looks like, it won't make any sense to you. So let me quickly grab my perfume. Okay, so this was the perfume that I bought a little while back. Um... But this is like iconic. I think it's been out a long time. I'm just going to show you the box because this was what started before the makeup and this is the perfume here. So the bottle, as you can tell, is super duper cute. Like, ugh. This is a 30ml and you can get it in like bigger sizes. But um, yeah, this is what the actual first product looked like. So then they came out with obviously the nail polish which is like a little mini version of the perfume bottle. How adorable is that? And they had it in lots of pink colours, but this, I was actually expecting it to look a little bit different. Um, I thought this would be a light pink colour, and this is in the colour 001, my first nail polish. I thought it would be a light pink, but it actually comes out like a very, very sheer, almost top coat colour. Um, with just a little hint of glitter in there. It's still pretty, but it's just not what I was expecting. And you just take off the little lid like that and then you use it as a regular nail polish. But this looks super cute if it sits out. This is going to be going on my acrylic nail thing because it looks adorable. It's like a baby perfume bottle. And then they also came out with lipsticks in the line. I don't know how many there was. There was quite a few to choose from. But this is what the packaging looks like. Again, it's got the girl on written down the side. These are such trendy cosmetics. Like, super cute. And this is what the lipstick looks like. Oh my goodness, isn't it friggin' beautiful? It looks like crystal and the top's got your little same as the nail polish and perfume. Um, and I got this one in 002. And this was like the most recommended colour. And it's like a brighter pink. And I think because summer's coming up, like, well, spring and summer, I thought I'd get this one, like, in part from the nude, um, because I bought another lipstick in nude, which I'll show you later. Um, so I decided to get this one because it's also a sheer lipstick. It's more of, like, um, a sheer one, so, like, it builds up, if you can see. So that's the colour there. I'll do close-ups on everything for you guys. But it is lovely, and it smells like the perfume. And the nail polish, when it dries, it smells like the perfume, apparently, but I don't know if I, uh... I don't know if that's true or not because I haven't tried it, obviously. Okay, before we go on to a little bit more makeup, I'm just going to show you one skincare item I bought. Now, I already have this item, which I've mentioned before in a favourites. Not this item, but the, a line of this item that I've mentioned before in the favourites. So, Guerlain do an incredible line called um, Orchidee Imperial. And they've just come out with this new, what's it called? The Eye Serum, Eye Contour Radiance Enhancer. And this is it right here. This baby is expensive. But the only way I could justify getting this is because I actually have the eye cream. And this was also expensive, but it was cheaper than this. Um, and this is incredible. Like, if I show you how much I've used, I literally, like, love this stuff. 
is so good like it feels so nice on the eye you only need a tiny bit and the packaging as well like can we just appreciate that this looks like a millionaire's um, eye cream. That is supposed to be really good and I've like watched videos of the technology behind it and stuff and for skincare it looks immense, Im immense, immense. Um, so I picked up the eye serum and this is 15 mil, and this is literally brand new. I think it's been out in stores not very long um, and it just comes like this. So it looks like a little bottle. I think it looks so cute. Like I'm going to probably put these on display on my nightstand. How cute does that look together? Like, wow. What I love about the Orchidea Imperial line is it's not just about anti-aging. It's like about, I think it's like they call it their complete care. Yeah, complete, complete care cream. Um, and it's supposed to just cover all bases. So it repairs the skin, it hydrates, it repair I don't know what you know all the stuff that it does um and it also obviously prevents aging and will anti-age so that's what this one looks like it's I love also the um the navy and gold packaging I think that looks super cute and it's just a white fluid like that and it feels super duper soft in fact I'm gonna put this all over my knuckles but this I just think smells like the eye cream and it's just sort of like a um well orchid is a flower scent because it's orchidae imperial and made of um orchids so I picked up the eye serum. Um, I cannot recommend it yet because obviously I haven't tried it, but the eye cream is the bomb.com. It is really, really nice. It is the creme de la creme of any eye creams that you could possibly buy on the market. Just saying. Okay, so um, the next thing that I got is the, like we'll go through the stages. I got another, it's supposed to be a skincare product. It is a skincare product, but it's in like makeup section. I've already had this before and I have raved to you guys about it. like raved. Um, I finished it and I've been literally trying to pump the last drops out of it. Um, it is my Guerlain, oh I keep saying Guerlain, obviously it's all Guerlain, Meteorites um, Oxygen Care um, Moisture and Radiance Booster. This stuff I can't, I can't rant about it enough. I literally cannot rant about, about, blah, 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 rant about it enough. It's a moisturiser basic. It's a moisturiser but it's an under makeup moisturiser. Now literally I have like this problem with moisturisers. I feel like my skin needs to be moisturised in the morning but I don't want to because it usually leaves, leaves a layer um, and then when I go put my makeup on top it just doesn't sit as nice as it would obviously if I had no product and I just had primer on. Um, but this is the answer to my prayers because you put this on and there is no residue left on your skin whatsoever. In fact, it almost acts like a primer. It almost has a little tiny bit of a silicone feel but more of a lotion feel. Very light um, cream that you put on your face before. And I have literally, I can see it right now, I've finished a tube of this. In fact, let me get it to prove it to you. So this is the one that I have finished. See, this is what annoys me though, is it looks like there's a lot left in the bottom but in reality there's like n I don't want to pump it just in case yeah there's like nothing coming out I have finished this like I have finished it I love it but this stuff oh it's amazing and it's like really cool it's white but it has like a pink shine to it it's supposed to have some color correcting stuff in it but I don't I don't think it color corrects as such just the moisture and the smell is divine it smells like palmer violets but this is my used one and um, I got another one because this has been my favourite. I will repurchase this for the rest of my life because it is incredible. And then, while another reason that prompted my order is I told you because they had all the new releases, this was recommended, like, if you like that, you'll like this. It is their new, um, I could have swore they had, like, this before, but it is the new Meteorites base. So it's the same, like, line as this, if you can see. Like, even the packaging is almost the same, it's just reverse packaging which I think is super cute by the way. Kind of can't take them out of the packaging now. So you're supposed to like use your moisture and then this is a primer. It says makeup base um, and it says perfecting pearls anti-dullness. This product is so pretty to look at. Like that's why the packaging wasn't on it because I've literally like opened it already. Um, but this is what it looks like. Guys, look how cool this is. Wow, just looking at it is incredible. It's just all these tiny little balls. Um, and then when you pump it, it just comes out as a um, shimmery, silicone light primer that has a little bit of sparkle in it, which is incredible. But uh, this, is, this is definitely going in my little display organizer on my vanity because this cannot, it's a crime to put this in a drawer, I swear. This came highly recommended and I love the Laure primer 
which once again I'm running out of. I didn't realise when I placed the order because I would have um, I would have got this as well. Um, but my little aura is running really low and it's basically the gold flakes primer. I've mentioned it in a favourites too. But this is beautiful. Like, the only last thing I got from the meteorites range is something that I could not pass up. Like this is so beautiful. They have like they have this super duper expensive one. I think Tati um just did a video on it. It was like a hundred it's like a hundred and twenty pounds or something and it's a highlighter and I just I can't justify that um for like this highlighter when they come out with something almost exactly the same. So this is the Meteorites Compact Light Revealing Powder and I got this in number three. They do it in two, three and four. Four is like kind of dark and I really want it though because I think it'd be nice as sort of a highlight slash blush slash bronzer. Um, but this goes to show how beautiful and luxury they are. It comes in like a velvet pouch. Yeah. Yeah, you know you made it when you're getting velvet pouch stuff. <laughs> I'm joking. And inside comes the compact and it looks like this amazing. The new one they've just come out with it's like a hundred odd pounds. I don't really like the packaging either. I preferred this and this was 40 pounds, 41, 50 maybe. Um, and yeah, this is friggin beautiful. It's not very heavy. Oh, the hiccup, sorry. It's not very heavy. I think this is, um, yeah, this is plastic. This isn't like metal or anything, but nevertheless, you wouldn't know that unless you were holding it because of the weight. And when you open it up, this is the product. Guys, look how friggin' beautiful this is. So like I said, there was one that was lighter than this and one that was darker. The lighter one had like little bits of green in the mosaic and then obviously this one has got pink, purple, gold and white. And then the other one had like dark pink, dark purple. It was more of a for darker ladies. But I thought I'd get this one because I had it in I had an idea that I would use it as a face powder, like if I'm going for a really radiant look, I'd use obviously the Meteorite Pearls, one of my foundations that I'm going to show you later, and then this to set it as a face powder. Um, I won't obviously swatch it just now because I'm going to show you guys in a close-up and I want it to look just perfect. But this, if it, I mean, even if it doesn't, I can use it as a very subtle highlight. I'll just see what works the best, really. Considering that like, you can get Becca highlighters, I think, for almost the same price, like... This is something I think everybody should be trying. The next thing, uh, before I then I suppose I go into foundations, because the rest I got is foundations, is one lipstick. I have showed you guys this type of lipstick before, and I get so many compliments on this lipstick, like not this colour, but the, the, the packaging of this lipstick. I have a pink one that I bought in the sale, like a really long time ago, and it was like £15. But they had this, they have one nude colour out of all of the these lipsticks, and I picked it up. And this is the Rouge G um, lipstick line, and it's the exceptional complete lip color and guys look at the packaging for this okay because you open it up and it looks like this so it's very very big and it's very weighty as well so if that's not your cup of tea then yeah what you do is is you open it up and it becomes a compact and then your lipstick is here how cool is that? Like, really? And I get this out at the table all the time and just like, well, not the table, I get it out when I'm out and like apply my lipstick like this and people are like, what is that? And I'm like, it's girl and lipstick. But yeah, this is the colour and it is the only nude that they do in the collection, but it's a really nice dark nude. This should be like well on trend. Um, it's like a really dark nude with like a grey tone to it. Very pretty. And it's the colour number 15. I think every girl should probably own one of these, just one. Okay, so fair to say I went a bit overboard with the foundations because they just do everything like a foundation for every occasion. So the first one I want to show is in their skincare line, but it is a BB cream because I actually don't have a decent BB cream. I don't even have a high-end BB cream. So I thought I would grab this one. This is the Super Aqua Serum BB Plus Hydra. Um, and this is the Beauty Balm Intense Hydration Perfects and Smooths. And it's got SPF 25 in it. And this is in medium. They only did light and medium. And I thought that light looked a bit too light. And probably, you know, coming into summer as well, I'd be medium. And this... Yeah, this is was in their skincare line. Like I said, it's not. Um, it wasn't on the makeup page, but it's the same like coloured packaging as my Orchidea Imperial, which looks really cool. But this was a, not as expensive as the Orchidea Imperial. The tube looks like this, so it's just a plain blue tube with gold um, on it. And yeah, this is. I had yeah. This is um, supposed to be very very good. And like the Super Aqua line, I've had their serum. I still have the serum from it. 
but I don't really like it. It's just because I don't think it agrees with my skin. It, it just burns a little bit when I put it on and like I feel like I have to put quite a lot of product on to get the feeling I want because um, maybe it just absorbs too fast. Maybe I've got quite dry skin in the areas I put it. Oh, there's like a little thing on this. Hang on. The colour looks about right. Yeah, it, the, the light would have been too light anyway. It does feel lovely. I just hope that this doesn't have like a... Um, a reaction to my skin. Oh, it does look a tad dark actually. Maybe I should have got the light and just bronzed up. Maybe it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Lovely. Smells like my serum as well. So I hope it doesn't um break me out, like not break me out, but I hope it doesn't like disagree with my skin. My serum was like was okay. It didn't like give me rashes or anything. It just felt a little bit funny when it went on my skin I don't know how to explain it really but nevertheless like this one I got because I have heard really good reviews about it and I think that it I think that it will be good because it's like supposed to be intense hydration and in summer that'll be good too I'm going away soon as well on holiday and I'm gonna need like SPF and like hydration back in my skin so all right talking about summer foundations again this is literally like I tried this foundation when I went to John Lewis in Cribs um, and it, I don't know why I didn't buy it on the spot, I really don't, because this is amazing and I thought, do you know what, this was last summer, or like the end of last summer, oh that's why, because it was like the end of last summer and I thought, oh, you know, it's going to be summer, I can't really buy like the like the shade I need to for summer because it'll be winter soon, so I didn't buy it, but then obviously when I um, placed this order, I remembered. This is the Terracotta Jolie Tint, Terracotta is their like bronzer line, I have a bronzer from them as well, but... I'm not like a huge fan of it, it's not my favourite product, I'm not going to lie, even though they're like known for their bronzers. Um, I just guess I haven't found the right one for me yet, but this is the uh, Terracotta Jolie Tint uh, Beautifying Foundation Sun Kissed Healthy Glow with SPF uh, 20, and this I got in natural, there was light, natural, medium and dark. This is what it looks like, so it is just a regular tube I kind of love the packaging because it's lightweight like this is going to come on holiday with me because it's lighter weight it's not glass like I'll show you the ones I got later but they're like glass this one is obviously the tube and it's a pump as well it's not like my other like the BB I just showed you this actually has a pump it's amazing this the thing I love about these is like if you tan you have to buy this foundation if you like artificially tan like well either way if you tan with self tan or whether you tan at sun sunning beds or if you're somewhere hot and you tan outside you need this because when you buy a foundation right this is something i did not realize when you buy a foundation you want to match it to your skin tone but obviously if you're tanning you're changing your skin tone and it's the melanin levels in your skin that obviously adjust the skin tone um and a lot of the foundations you'll find will either go pink toned or they will go yellow toned. And when you tan, you kind of just go this this type of bronze, you go this terracotta. Um, and that's what the tint of these foundations are. So you can get your colour, but it's got that little bit of a tint to it. So it actually matches you, like, exactly, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so I'm going to Thailand, actually, in a couple of months. And I know I'm going to be getting tanner. And this is going to be my saviour. Because it's going to be my colour, like, anyway. But I'm going to be tanned, if you know what I mean. Like, it's just, it's going to work. So if you're big into your tanning, this you must try. And it has, um, it's like medium to full coverage. And it's buildable, I believe. So go for it. Alright, and then I got two more of the, um, like, liquid foundations, but this is the regular ones, like I showed you BB and, like, a terracotta one, but these are just regular foundations. This is their best selling, and that's the reason I got it. It is the Lingerie de Peau, um, and it's just, I got this one in shade two, that's right, because I got another one, um, in one shade darker. So this one I use now, and it's also lighter, so I thought that'd be quite nice for, actually I got it the wrong way around, I should have ordered this in a three and that in a two because this one's lighter, that one's more full coverage. Oh, don't mind. 02 Beige Claire in the Lingerie de Peau. This is supposed to be an invisible, like, natural skin foundation. Oh, wow, actually, that looks super light. I don't know, maybe, but we'll see. Sorry if the angle changed slightly, I had to just um, change my camera battery. And then the other foundation that I got, the last one, I promise. Um, <laughs> Actually, no, I don't promise because it's a powder foundation, but it's kind of a powder. I'm using it as a powder anyway. Um, this is the Tin Tinu De Perfection. And I got this in 03. And uh, this is a Time Proof Foundation, Ultimate Lasting Perfection with SPF 20 again. And this is the same bottle, 
but just it says tenue, tenue de perfection. But this looks a much better colour for me. We'll see. Beige natural this one is. And this one is supposed to be full coverage. So I really like my obviously Estee Lauder double wear. Um, and this is supposed to be comparable but obviously not like paint. It's supposed to be like an actual foundation. The Estee Lauder double wear is just paint in my opinion. Um, it's brilliant, don't me wrong, but it is paint. And this is supposed to be more moisturising and more of an actual foundation with benefits to the skin and obviously some protection. So I thought I would give this one a try as well. And once again I got that in a slightly darker colour just because I, want, I know I'm going to be changing just in general over summer. And then the last two things I got are both the same thing, just um, again for summer and winter. I got the Lingerie de Pose, the same um, thing as the other one, the Tint Powder, oh no that's in French, <laughs> Nude Powder Foundation uh, Moisture Retention Matte Effect with SPF 20. And I have not got, oh, I have, I know, I kind of fancied a powder foundation because Again, I have a Kat Von D one, but I can't use it because it's too light to be on its own. So, oh, another velvet pouch. Um, so I got this one, which just looks like this. It's a black compact with the GG on the front. Wow, like this needs to come with me everywhere. You just open it up and, oh, yeah, very light. So this one I got in 02. It looks like that. It's got the GG embossed in it. And you've got the sponge and obviously a nice big mirror. So this is going to come with me everywhere. So I got this in 02, uh, beige, light, light beige Claire or whatever it's called. And then what I did, because I thought I can switch them out, I got the refill in 03. Because I wasn't 100% and this was much cheaper than the actual product because obviously you're just getting the pan in there. I knew I was no darker than 03 because it was just, oh it comes with another sponge, that's good. Yeah, so this one's a little bit more darker as you can see and I just think that that was um, a better option to do because I obviously don't want to buy the compact again and I think if I run out I probably will forget that you can buy refills if I've got it here at least then I can oops at least then I can actually refill it so yeah that's the lingerie de peau um powder foundations okay guys so that was a humongous haul I will not be placing an order that big probably ever again but I was having a bit of a moment and I don't know I just I hope you guys enjoyed this video I once again it's just it's a brand I really really like and I wanted to try more from and I feel like they're safe because they're all really really rated products they're just not advertised like I feel like you see Chanel and Dior and stuff like advertising on TV but you never see this brand and yet it's one of the most iconic on the market so yeah I thought I would share it with you guys. I'm a big promoter of them. I think you should definitely just even check out um, the Guerlain online or watch videos. In fact, one of my YouTubers I'm subscribed to, In The Fro, she's just posted a video all about Guerlain and I was like, oh, yay! Um, she's done a full face of Guerlain. I think it's sponsored, that one. Um, but she did like a full face of Guerlain and showed all the new lipsticks in the La Petite range. And I was like, yeah, someone's finally recognising Girl Anne. Like, yeah. And then Tati did the video on the $130, I think, or no, $170 it was, um, the highlighter. And like, she did a video on it. And I was like, yes, it's finally being more recognised. So I think it's definitely worth having a look at. There is definitely hit and misses. Like, I feel like their eyeshadows are not incredible. Um, I would definitely go to, like, Urban Decay or MAC for my eyeshadows. Um, and, like, just things like that. Oh, and their mascara, Maxi Lash, is the bomb. Like, it is amazing. I'm wearing it right now. I love that mascara. So, yeah, anyway, that was my Girl Anne haul. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you have any questions about the products, I can try and show you. Um, or you want to know more about them. I'm probably going to do a Girl Anne tutorial because I really liked it in the Froze one. So, I'm probably going to do one of my own um, which would be quite fun let me know if you'd like to see that but in the meantime I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah remember to stay beautiful and I will see you all in my next video ciao